So what I'm doing at the moment is taking some templates of the pilot house salon windows um, and to do that I've uh, used some MDF hardboard and just cut it to the approximate size but made it obviously a little bit bigger than it needs to be and taped it on and then I'll go inside and mark the inside perimeter of the, the actual window bead, the seal or window sill should I say and then I can add the distance I need to that before I cut them out to allow for the, the perspex to, to overlap the bead inside so that's the, the main, the rear two windows this is the forward one here and obviously there you can see the little quarter light that I haven't taped up yet so because I'm transferring the, the line of this window bead across to the pool using the blade of a square Firstly, I have to get it as, as, as close to level as possible uh, and a little bit of variation won't matter too much because I need approximately a 5mm gap around the window itself to allow for expansion when it heats up. Um, but what I must do is allow for about 1.5mm for the thickness of the blade. So whatever I add to this dimension when I mark it to cut the template out, I also add about 1.5mm for the thickness of that blade and it gets me pretty close to spot on. So now I've transferred the lines of the window sills to this piece of hardboard. I've got um, the aft and, uh, and middle window cutouts on this template. I've got another one with the forward window on this template and one for the port light. Sorry, one for the quarter light on this template. So what I'll do now is I'll extend these lines another 15 millimeters on each side because the, the bead inside the window sill is 20 mil wide so I'll extend each side 15 mil which gives me a 5 mil clearance top and bottom of the actual perspex when I come to cut it and that's what I need for the sealant for expansion and contraction so the windows don't come under pressure and crack You, you may remember earlier that I mentioned that when I was transferring the lines across to the hardboard I had to allow about one to one and a half mil for the thickness of this blade um, and to actually allow for that when I extend these lines out 15 mil to create the overlap of the window bead what I do is I allow the thickness of a pen I use quite a, quite a broad tip pen and allow that thickness to um, be added on to the 15mm and that gives me a correction for the 1mm that I'm a little bit under with this. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> now we're just drawing our new extended lines. And there we go, that's the uh, left hand side, uh, port side, uh, middle pilot house window. Um, we'll do the same now with the, the forward window and the last one being the aft window and then I'm ready to cut them out. 
Now in this forward window, I've actually got, um, in the frame itself, I've got curves in the forward end of the top edge and um, the forward end of this, uh, this angle. Um, so I need to draw those curves in because uh, I want obviously that to follow the shape naturally of, of the frame itself. And I did that purely for, for aesthetics, I want it to look nice. One other thing that I think um, is interesting and, and important too is when I mark these inner lines here from the uh, window sill, when I transfer the lines over to this board, where, the, where this radius in this corner starts, I put a line. So you can see I put a line there, you can see the original line there. That tells me where the radius starts at both ends. Um, so I have to make sure that once I extend out the 15 millimeters from this edge, that the line I draw across to here is exactly parallel with this new line created. That way allows for the growth in the size of that radius because this inner original radius that I measured or I drew obviously grows the further out it gets. So you can see that radius there is much longer than this one. And so by making sure this mark that I've, I've taken then drawn a line across is parallel to this edge we know that we've got that point and that point in the correct place to transfer the radius and increase in size. There may be some slight variation, but you know, a mil or two will make no difference considering we've got about a five mil clearance off this edge for sealant to go in. All right, so I've extended these uh, lines out to produce the correct size. And one final thing I'll do is I'll just check with the, all the measurement, particularly the depth of these windows, but also the, the width of them to make sure they fall within the correct tolerance for what I need. And um, that was 460. And that one's 870, which is spot on. So we know we've, we've come up good. We've got about a five mil overlap gap there uh, for the expansion, as I mentioned earlier. So I'll be able to cut these out now and transfer them over to the Perspex to create the windows.